I used to be one of the most powerful sorcerers on Earth. Bloke name of... John Constantine. Guys, I'm here to say I'm sorry, but Crisis on Infinite Earth Part 2, it may not be the worst movie ever, but it is the worst kind of movie ever. The movie was not good. And I may sound drunk right now, but that's because I am. The Crisis on Infinite Earth Part 2, it drove me to drinking a lot. Because it was not good. <laughs> Look, this video is probably not gonna be that long. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this movie very much feels like a character piece. It was about Supergirl. It was about Psycho Pirate. It was about the Monitor. Not much else. There was some Bat Family stuff throughout. There wasn't a ton of Bat Family stuff though. It opened the movie, and you don't see the Bat Family again until about I don't know an hour and ten minutes in, and the movie is only an hour. 30 minutes long, so <laughs> I don't know if that tells you anything. I'm being completely honest and blunt. That felt like a movie. It just didn't feel like a movie. It felt like a prelude to part three. That's what part two is. Part two is a fucking prelude to part three. That's all it fucking is, if I'm being honest. There's not even much I can spoil about this movie. Like, most of this movie you can piece together from part one, and other than that, it's barely even a fucking movie, man. It's just a character piece between Psycho Pirate, Supergirl, and Monitor. What? What? The biggest thing I can spoil is probably Brainiac and Dawnstar, the vision that Supergirl has. Oh, they never even existed, which you can gather that by the ending of part one. And what, Pariah reveals himself as John Constantine to John Stewart? Thank God, thank God that he reveals himself as Constantine, because we all already fucking- <laughs> Like, this movie feels completely useless. It is just set up to part three. I am sorry for anyone that enjoyed this. It literally just explains the backgrounds and origins of characters, mostly that we already fucking knew, so this movie just felt pointless. Like, why is there a part two to get to part three when this movie could have probably just been two parts, if I'm being completely honest? Part two of Crisis on Infinite Earths completely felt like exposition and prelude to part three. It felt like it completely wasted my time. It wasn't a completely awful movie, but it felt like a completely pointless movie. And that is kind of the worst kind of movie to me, so for that... If I were to give this movie a grade, I'd give it a fucking F. Part 1 is better in every single way. I don't hate the film, but I'm sorry to anyone that really did enjoy this movie because I just kind of shit on it. And I think it does deserve every single thing I said. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.